Hey guys, the modified crack key started a little bit wobbly, um, as you all know. Uh, let's fix that now. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, yeah. This design here was a little bit ambitious. It did what I wanted it to do, you know, keeping everything outside of the buckets, you know, because I wanted to be able to monitor for leaks because, you know, otherwise if uh, it starts leaking and I can't uh, see it, then it's just going to overflow the buckets, whatever. Um, so that was, that was a good design goal, if you wish, but uh, didn't turn out to work too well because this little valve here has holes on top, right? So it did everything I needed it to do when it was below the water, right? Because it was supposed to live around, you know, this kind of height, right? So as long as the water was below the holes, I had no problem. But as soon as the water, which it is right now because we're starting the season, as soon as the water was over those holes, those are aeration holes right so it started leaking bad uh, bad assumption on my part that it could live underwater so under the umbrella of keep it simple stupid you know the good kiss principle right we're going to replace this kind of valve with you know your regular float valve you know with a with a balloon here cool thing about the balloon is that you know i can adjust it Something I couldn't do with this. So, all right, so we're gonna trade the, can I monitor a leak to, well, adjustability. So I think it's a good plan, all right? So what I'm gonna do with this thing here is I'm gonna drill a hole inside the bucket, all right, about this height, and then I'll be able to adjust it and then feed from here to here. So I'm only gonna have one little, um, piece of pipe connecting the two and that should keep the whole thing pretty simple all right let's start working on it All right, that's the redesign, guys. Not super difficult, all right? So float valve in the bottom here. It's gonna be adjustable so I can maintain the water level. I'm gonna keep filling this top portion here. That's the only bucket I'm gonna have to worry about. You know, as long as it's full, this is going to just deliver the water level that I need maintained. And this is just gonna hook up to the other buckets, all right? so. Keep it simple, right? That's always a good motto, all right? So this is gonna be the testing uh, bed, if you wish. So as you can see, I reversed the top bucket right here, okay? So that it's gonna stay out of the way so that you can clearly see how, you know, this is gonna handle the overflow and how this bucket is going to fill it, all right? And we're going to fill it to the top to make sure that it, we don't encounter the problems we had. All right, so I filled up enough over here, as you can see, you know, as long as there's water above, you know, the uh, orifice down there, everything's good. What we have here, we have, I don't know if you can see at the bottom there, just under... So there's a little fillet of water kind of doing its thing, right? If I take the valve and I raise it, you can see that it stops, right? 
So it's just enough, it's just what I needed. Now we're going to fill it all the way to the top to make sure everything is leak proof. Alright guys, so no leaks going on on my all my connections here. So I think the system is ready to go. Bucket is full, alright. Things are good. What's cool now is that all I have to do is worry about this bucket having the right level, all right? I don't even have to think about putting the other bucket on until the level reaches, you know, a place where I think it's going to want water, all right? So I'm just going to fill that back up, okay, so that the level comes back and we'll be in good shape. All right, guys, so I refilled the bucket with nutrient solution, all right, same thing I put in there. I refilled it high enough so that I can now see the bottom of the water barely touching the pot, well, just covering the bottom of the net pot, right? So that's basically how it's gonna stay for a little while. All right, guys, so like they would say in Harry Potter, mischief managed, right? So, simple solution, it's going to do the job just fine. Now, why don't I think this is going to have any issue? I, you probably saw in the couple of shots I gave you, that ball is blown in place, okay? So essentially, it's all sealed. There's no um, seam, there's nothing that uh, would lead me to think that this could burst, all right? So that's the first good thing. Second good thing is that you know, it's adjustable. So if I see that the plant needs a little bit more air, I'm just going to drop the arm a little bit and it's going to do its thing, all right? Now, some of you commented, why am I doing this? You know, because a crack key doesn't, necess doesn't need this kind of attention. Well, the reason I'm doing this is because the when these uh, peppers get to be a good size okay they will drop in each of those buckets probably about half an inch in a matter of a week okay so multiply that by six you know we're talking about a good amount and what I don't want to have to do here is if the liquid fluctuate too much I'm afraid I'm gonna um, you know shock the plant into you know starving it of oxygen then give it you know then it's gonna restore its its lot and 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 what have you so by doing this, I know for a fact that it's going to get what they need and all I have to do is monitor the top bucket here, right? And at the end of the day, you know, I'm not doing this uh, as a job, right? So I don't want to be looking at this every hour of every day, you know, to make sure that the system has enough liquid in it. Again, the crack key doesn't need this whole setup here. It could have worked just fine like that. It could also just work fine without the, the plumbing here that I've put in place, just each plant in its own pot. At which point you have to monitor them very closely, you know, uh, in order to uh, make sure the liquid doesn't drop too low, all right? Especially for peppers that are longer lasting, you know, or longer time to harvest uh, plants, you know? All right, guys, uh, well, if this was helpful to you and you like my solution here, and don't forget there's three parts to this video here, all right? Um, you know, if you like what I did here and you think it could help you, you know, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.